Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to take out this little guy. This is the Raiders F31G. It has optical flow, a little camera in the front of it, two white LEDs for orientation, four brushed motors. It automatically has the propeller guards attached to the motor uh, to the to the, the motor housings. This is a little neat indoor outdoor copter, and this is it. It looked quite cool. Now I brought it out today, I really want to see how it does in an outside setting. I've tested it indoors already and it was uh, mediocre. What I'm expecting from this today is, well, I'm expecting for it not to do that well outside, <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm just expecting it to be an okay flyer, uh, but something that you have to have a very still day for, uh, which is why I brought her out today. So hopefully, I'm going to eat my words and she is going to be a lot better than I think. I tell you what, let's get her calibrated and let's take her up. Okay, so for this, all we're going to do is just pop in the battery in the back, hopefully, yeah. It does protrude a little bit from the back, that's normal. You'll know when it goes in because it just gives you an almighty click. Uh, and you should get some feedback from it. Okay, so let's pop in the phone. Oh, that looks okay, that looks okay. Okay, the, M the FVV boom did click down one once then, but it held it and it, yeah, it hasn't moved. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see what it's like. So for this, there's a little on button on the side. So I'm just going to pop that on. It's very awkward to get to. You've got to click and hold. And then one up and one down to bind. All lights are solid, as usual. Now that everything is solid, what I'm going to do... I haven't connected to the Wi-Fi. Even though it should be broadcasting. Come on. Yeah, it is broadcasting. Bam, there it goes. Connecting and then go across into the Flora LD app. And it's upside down. Oh, there we are, good. It's flipped around. Right, free flight. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to record my screen. We're going to try and see if I can get some video output from the quad as well. Now with that, let's see if we can get these gyros calibrated. There we are, down and to the right, gets everything calibrated. Let's start some video recording and let's take her up folks. So here we have her. So for the second, she's just kind of holding her own. Optical flow sensor working okay. I mean, the grass is moving, so she's probably sensing that she's moving herself, which would be correct. Uh, so far, okay. See, now that's one thing I found in the, in the, in the indoor flight as well. She does rattle around the place. She has got one hell of a rattle on her. And I'm a little bit concerned as to what that might be. Now I've tried spinning up the motors, obviously taking the blades off her and holding various parts of the quadcopter. And what I've found is the various parts that I've been holding haven't been the issue. So <laughs> there's not really a lot I could do for that at that particular moment. Now if I just hold her there, how is she doing? I know it's very difficult for you to see against the green, which is why I'm walking towards her. But she's actually holding herself very, very well. A lot better than she did from the indoor flight. Right, let's see what, let's see if I can get some 3D flips in. Well, let's see first if we can increase this speed. So speed mode two. And the thing is with these little guys is that, yeah, okay, it's the frontward speed, which is a little bit quick. But what you've really got to watch out for is that cornering. I mean, because you can just corner in speed mode two. She's like a little ballerina. She just really just wants to keep on cornering. And I think speed mode three, this is, again, when you're going to see a bit of a speed increase, but again, when it's just mostly going to be cornering speed. I've got to really watch how I fly her. You know, there's no sort of, you know, delicate, there's no sort of definite half movements like that as such. It's very delicate in the way that I've got to turn her. I mean, so far though, she seems to be holding her own a lot better outside than she did in. Okay, let's take her back into speed mode one. Let's get her in front of me. Now this camera's pointing down a little bit. So what I'm gonna try and do is get a couple of selfies in here. Let's get a load of different photos and let's see exactly how she does. But those LEDs at the front, those orientation LEDs really are extremely bright. You've got no problem in seeing those whatsoever. Okay. Can you hear that rattle? See if I go a bit closer. No, you can't hear it. Maybe it's just something that's really bugging me and I'm automatically hearing it. 
Uh, anyway, so flying around, no problem. Let's see about these 3D flips. No problem, forwards, back, left, and right. No problem there, four directions, everything is good. So speed mode three, let's take her out a little bit. Now I'm seeing, obviously, this Wi-Fi signal is jumping. I'm expecting that, I really am. It's Wi-Fi, if they're gonna be using 2.4 gigahertz, it's going to happen. You know, I'm yet to find a 2.4 gigahertz setup that actually works flawlessly. It doesn't really bother me that much. I am gonna say it in the verdict, as always, but again, it's what I'm expecting. But so far, you see, we're getting some pretty good video from her. I mean, I think the quality is absolutely useless, but I think this is only a 480p camera. Back into speed mode two. Oh, there's the battery. Right, so I had, I, w I was flying, you know, I have been recording video, but the amount of video that I recorded just at the moment of when we took off was four minutes and two seconds. I don't know how well you can see that. So, she she's still flashing battery but at the end of the day she hasn't given up the ghost yet so i'm going to keep on pushing her the battery rated for this is meant to be 10 minutes and when you consider that this is now my third flight with her that battery has been worked quite well and it's been fully charged and i fully fully dissipated it until the, the quadcopter has been dead i mean overall she's a nice little flyer but again, we've got that battery issue, which is just ridiculously, ridiculously low. LEDs, I can't fault those. Absolutely flawlessly bright. Flawlessly bright, that's not even a thing. Um, but incredibly bright. You can see her orientation, no problem. I mean, optical flow sensor, it works well. She holds her own, no problem. Once again, I can hear her rattling, see? That bothers me. That bothers me a great deal. Flying at altitude, no problem. I mean, she's not very high. She's probably about... I don't know, 15 foot. Again, no problem though. Flying around. I mean, this little patch I found here is great for these little guys. It's going to be useless for anything bigger than this. But, uh, yeah, she, I mean, those blue LEDs really are, <laughs> really are bright. I mean, now we've got, what time have we got now? Five minutes and 24, 25. So even though the battery is the same as the, um, as the Bolt B, the battery is alerted that the battery is low, so keep her quite close to yourself. But that hasn't stopped stopped her from actually flying. I tried to do a 360 flip there, but nothing when the battery is on low. But still, I'm just moving it back and forth. We've got no wind resistance here today, and also, uh, obviously, as you can see, we're in a little like gully type area. So there's no wind. The trees are extremely still. If it wasn't for those LEDs, I wouldn't know what direction she was uh, she was in. I'm finding her quite difficult to, to, to follow. There we are, six minutes and 15. Maybe we'll get to that 10 minute mark now. Six minutes and 20. Quite surprising that at four minutes and what was it? Four minutes and 40 something. But the battery meter said, oh, no, failing. Low battery. And then at 6 minutes and 35, she's still going. But then you do get a good, like, extra three minutes out of a battery before it dies, I find with quadcopters. But let's see if I can hold her there. See if I can take her up a little bit. Fair play. She's holding her own pretty well up there. She's doing pretty well, pretty darn well. I mean, these little copters, these nanos, they used to be absolutely atrocious. And then probably about eight months ago, they started building some actually pretty good ones and started giving them some pretty good capabilities. Now what I'm gonna do from here, I'm also gonna try, I'm gonna try emergency stopping her, leaving her land on the grass and seeing what happens to her. She's up quite high. She's up higher than what I would normally take a, a small copter. I mean, you can see if I just yaw her around a bit and her movements aren't smooth, and neither is the video, but you can see exactly where we are. A beautiful little place. Okay, if I just try the emergency stop, it's also going to test her endurance. There we are. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Boom, down she comes. 
like a balloon, like a lead brick, in other words. Not like a balloon, because that would have floated, John. Yeah, well done, John. It's very early morning, folks. <laughs> Please bear with me. <laughs> so we've had eight minutes and four seconds yet for the minute, and she's still able to go up. Okay, all right, I'll eat my words. I'll eat my words. And she automatically, and she stays in the speed mode that she was in. So she fell on the floor. There's no damage to her. She's taken back off, and she's flown without any issue. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty darn happy with that. And she's still in speed mode too, still cruising around, look at her go. Just a little gentle cruise. But now we've lost, lost Wi-Fi signal. Maybe though that could, oh no, it is jittery. But yeah, I think all in all though, do you know what I mean? Eight minutes and 55, there we are, video's cut out. So the video's cut out, therefore, the battery is literally on its last legs. It's good that it stopped though. I hope it has saved some, saved it to my, oh, it's landing. It's landing. It's landing. Come on there, folks. Let's bring you back. There we are, landed. <laughs> that was remarkably good. Oh no, and now my screen wasn't recording either. I hope I got some video. If I haven't, I'm going to be very, very, very annoyed. Guess what, folks? I don't have any video. It says updating. No, is it stuck in the app? Um, let's have a quick little shufties folder video. No. Or maybe. Yeah, this looks like it. Yeah, this is it. Okay, we've got some video output. We don't have screen recording, but still. Let me just double check that I wasn't recording. Yeah, it wasn't recording. That's a shame. Right, well, what do I think about that? Well, inside wasn't very successful. She was bobbing up and down um, a lot like we saw a couple of weeks ago. Couldn't get her, couldn't get her pressure right. Couldn't read the floor properly, even with the light on or light off. She just wasn't great indoors, but outdoors, she came into her own. She is a fun little little copter. She isn't quick though. She isn't quick at all. Obviously you saw the height that I dropped her from, maybe 20, 25 foot. She fell, hit the grass, not a, little, not a scratch on her. Okay, I hit the grass. But still, we've got a lens under here, we've got a lens here. So anything could be displaced, anything could be uh, moved out of, out of alignment, but still, it worked. No problem. There is a vibration coming from her and it's really bugging me. I'm going to take these props off again and I'm going to spin up the motors and see if I can, if I can, uh, if I can find it. Unless it is actually the props. Could be the props. Um, but all in all, if you're looking for an, an, uh, an indoor copter, stay well away from this. If you're looking for an outdoor copter, then yeah, this is pretty fun. And it's remarkably cheap. Very, very cheap for the amount of technology that's inside her. This transmitter, again, no problem whatsoever. All the buttons are nicely labelled, apart from the shoulder buttons. Uh, it's very easy to use, it's very easy to control. All in all, it's a great little thing. It really is nice. Nice little grips on on the uh, on the arms there, just so that it fits into your palm and holds you properly. No problem controlling her, no problem with the relay of, of video, No, uh, sorry, no problem with the relay of controls. Video relay, on the other hand, was a little bit choppy, but that's Wi-Fi for you, 2.4 gigahertz. It, at the same time, I... She's okay. She's all right. For the money, she's all right. Honestly, if you wanted something, if you were looking for something like this, I think you can't really go far wrong. If you're looking for another quadcopter that isn't going to be a Nano, then get something that isn't a Nano. But all in all, yeah, this is a great little bit of fun. As you, as you can see, she flies really well. She gives eight minutes of flight after three charges. That's a little bit down, but still, at least it's in the ballpark figure. It's quite close to 10 minutes. So I'm going to see more flights. Does it mean the battery gets better? I was recording all the time. I was in speed mode 2 and speed mode 3 for a lot of it. Uh, but still, that'll drain the battery. So I think she did remarkably well uh, for all those things considered. Right then, folks, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.